Bless up again, welcome back to the movement. See man, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, turn on the bell. Don't forget to like the video. Man sentenced to over three years after tricking people in motor vehicle scam. A man was on Tuesday in the Kingston and St. Andrew Parish Court sentenced to three years and six months imprisonment for the fraud in 17 people of over 10 million in motor vehicle sale scam. The man, Renford Swords, was charged with obtaining money by false pretense, fraudulent conversation, absconding bail, and larceny by trick. He plead guilty to the charges on February 8, 2022, after initially pleading not guilty in 2021 for the 11 counts of obtaining money by false pretense. He was sentenced to two years imprisonment at hard labor. He was also sentenced to one year imprisonment at hard labor for a charge of larceny by trick, which is to run current con concurrently to the charge of obtaining money by false pretend. For the charge of absconding bail, he was sentenced to six months imprisonment at hard labor, which is to run the same period with the larceny by trick charge also was given another two year imprisonment at hard labor for the charge of fraudulent conversation which is to run concurrently with the offense of obtaining money by false pretend he was also ordered to pay a residential to the victims the court was also made aware that he had previously convictions of the same nature in excess of 50 cases. This detail judge understand that the reason the prosecution had requested the office of the director of the public prosecution to transfer the matter to the Supreme Court, which has greater authority to impose a higher sentence. However, on Tuesday the court was told that the directive from that office is to have the matter complete at the parish level. Yeah, man, me are telling us a boy, this is a brother here. He man go hard. The amount of people where him trick. Come here, tell us uh, the vehicle he tricking people was vehicle like Mark X. Wagon, Toyota Axio, Pro Box, ranging from the years of 2012 to 2018. Oh, I'm here to know this brother is dangerous, man. Him for really and truly go behind the bars for a longer time, man. I'm telling you. But anyway, my viewers, just leave some comment in the comment section. So, let us get into it. Sad, 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 sad day. Dad fatally shoots 15-year-old son in Elsha. The Wolbers Boys School community has been plunged into mourning following the death of a 15-year-old Raheem Shah, who was shot dead by his father early Wednesday morning. His dad allegedly mistook him for an intruder. Reports from the police are that Shah, who lives in Elsha St. Catherine, was reported the kill at his home. According to the information reaching the news, about 3.15 a.m., the teenager mother awake to the sound of the front gate and grill to the premises being opened and alerted her 51-year-old husband, a licensed firearm holder. The man armed himself and ventured into the living room. He allegedly heard the front door being opened and discharged three rounds. 
Checks revealed that it was his son and he had been shot. The 15-year-old was taken to the Spanish Town Hospital where he succumbed to injuries. The father, lies of firearm, was reportedly seized. Boy, I'm not telling you my viewers. I'm not telling you the truth. I'm not going to give the father wrong for this. No, I'm not going to give him wrong. Them are not, the parents are not aware of the 15 year old for be on the outside. Them early day in the morning for a pull door. You mad? You pull my door, man. You can't you get, man. I no, ask you, I tell you that. If the years I want to pull, I pull my door in them early morning, the way I do out of the door. Viewers, leave some comment in the comment section. Where this little one doing on the outside so early in the morning to end up and get shot by him father? That just it's sad, you know. And the father I feel it, but in a life you have to pay more while. 